morning everyone. That sun is so bright. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can improve it a little. I've driven for about half an hour and I'm now at another really beautiful Outlander Season 3 location. So I know not everyone has gotten up to Season 3 as yet so I can't give away too much. I can't tell too much about what happens here without giving it away. What I will say is the trees behind me are where the red coats are hiding. So how about I actually show the trees behind me? So that's where the red coats were hiding. And I am now going to turn you around to Calendar House, which is an absolutely stunning, um, stunning scenery. I've actually started driving, driving, driving more towards Edinburgh. I'm a little bit tired. It's been a very early morning to do this this morning. And these next two weeks are just going to be so hectic. But you can already see all the greenery around me. And in fact, it's not quite opening hours yet, but it's a good thing I did actually come down here early because you know, I keep on saying if you're going somewhere and if you're going to a place where you know it's tourist dense, make sure that you get there early. You know, that's the best way that you're going to get your shots. But you not only continue with the tourists, but as I realised when I started to photograph here, it's also the locals taking their dogs for a walk around here. I didn't realise how much of a popular place it was there's another couple with their dog <laughs> i didn't realize how much of a popular place it was for locals to actually bring their animals for a walk so i'm going to turn you around so that you can see the absolutely beautiful calendar house and there it is now Keeping my camera straight. So over there, when you guys get up to season three and you get up to this part, that's where the red coats were hiding. That's all I will say. <laughs> now in season three, this is one of the places where the Duke of Sandringham actually lives. And at one point, the Duke of Sandringham was actually giving Claire shelter and in, so that's at this location and in quite a lot of the scene you'll see them in the kitchen and talking and by the way for those of you who have been progressing throughout season two, love the character Mary Hawkins and think you're not going to see her again you get to see her again in season three in this episode actually because she's actually the goddaughter of the Duke of Sandringham. She was so sweet, wasn't she? Just so sweet and so nervous all the time. <laughs> so coming up to here, now I was really lucky. If you go on a Timberbush tour, Timberbush Outlander tour, which I did last time. I was actually really lucky that I got to go inside the kitchen and we got to have some traditional gingerbread as they would have made way back in the 18th century. So going to turn you back around. And in the scene where you see, the, see them all in the kitchen, this is the kitchen. You can't see it at the moment because it's not quite opening hours and everything is still all closed up. So that, ladies and gentlemen, whether you're an Outlander fan or not, or even if you're just a fan of the Highlands, that is Calendar House. It really is a stunning place to come. You can see it's just so green. It'll be such a great place to come and have a picnic. 
and us all over there. I hope that, you know, you've got some sporting things going on. So that is Calendar House. Thank you for watching and I'm guessing it's probably about afternoon there so I hope you all have a great afternoon.